Hello, my name is Caroline Burdett. I'm an artist graduating from Winthrop University in May of this year, 2020. My talk today will focus on the work I have displayed in the senior thesis show. I call this series Bodies of Color because of the blatant relationship between the models and their given colors. People's personalities emit an aura or the quality they generate that can be associated with specific colors that depict their character traits. My photographs visualize my friends and the colors I associate with them using color's history, as told in Cassia St. Clair's novel, The Secret Lives of Color, as a reference. Each friend poses with a mirror to add the illusion of a second painted person within the image. I use the softbox strobe light, which introduces shadows on the figure's face, creating a sense of depth within the photograph. These unique and unanticipated images create a relationship between life and art, something recognizable combined with something uncommon to create abstraction. These invite viewers to examine the color theory and determine what hue their own aura is. This is one of my favorite photos from this series. I was skeptical about painting Marissa because of her dark skin, and I wasn't sure how that might affect the paint. However, it turned out better than I could have hoped for. Her dark skin enriched the Kelly green color I chose to paint with. The blue-green mixed with the studio lighting created shadows across her face, establishing a deep depth of field. Kelly green is a color made from both blue and green hues, and I used it on Marissa because I could not decide which of the two colors I wanted to paint her. On one hand, I find her to be light and friendly with a peaceful spirit, symbolized by the blue family. On the other hand, she's very calm and relaxed, easy to take in, like the green family. This photograph is cropped and displayed on an eight foot by two foot panel. The back of the panel has a quote about Kelly Green from St. Clair reading, Immersion only at the beginning of the 20th century, Kelly Green is one name given to the spring grass color so many people wear on St. Patrick's Day. Strangely though, the color was mostly associated with a shade of blue until the middle of the 18th century. The piece titled Anne is the first one I photographed for the series. I knew that I didn't want a bunch of painted portraits of people making straight faces, so I encouraged her to be natural, make faces, and laugh. I love the photo I ended up with because it's almost a candid shot. I captured the moment mid-laugh. I chose a fluorescent pink for Anne because it's loud, bright, and beautiful just as she is. St. Clair refers to it as a high-intensity hue, whereas Anne can sometimes be a highly intensive person. However, the color is fun and so is Anne's personality and spirit. With her facial expression and the description of fluorescent pink in connection with her personality, Anne could not have been more successful. Matt's portrait was difficult to capture, most likely due to his masculinity. He kept arguing about how I wanted him to sit, how I was posing models with the mirror, and he definitely was not natural in front of the camera. This the shot I ended up with was one of the very few images where he didn't look uncomfortable. This pale, bright blue, as St. Clair describes it, is known as electric blue, chosen for Matt due to his male aureole and my associating the blue color family with masculinity. The portrait Sam is another one of my favorites. However, I like this one more for the subject matter and less about the technical aspects. The smirky, inquisitive look on her face really grabs my attention, and I'm hoping it will do the same for the viewers. There's also an extremely stark contrast between her two faces, so viewers will really have to look to see if they're both actually painted. I chose this orange color for Sam because of how much I admire her ability to maintain and rely on friendships. She's a loyal friend, but also relies on her friends to help her make important decisions. She produces amazing work and gets that extra confidence boost from the people that matter. This photograph is cropped and displayed on an eight foot by two foot panel. The back of the panel has a quote. The back of the panel has a quote about orange from St. Clair reading, orange is a name for a color only emerged during the 16th century. There's no doubt that orange has confidence to it. It has urgency. It can also be described as red brought nearer to humanity by yellow. Katie's image is another natural laughter image. This one was interesting to work with because of the light color hair that frames Katie's face. The paint would go right over it like it was skin, but I didn't want that. 
I want the hair in these images to be evident. It was hard to find a happy medium. I chose to paint Katie Violet because the color is associated with painters and printmakers that founded the Anonymous Society of Artists in 1874, as identified by St. Clair, and I know that Katie is proud to concentrate in both of those areas. Avery was another model I struggled with as she was not comfortable being herself in front of the camera. She was so awkward that I finally told her to just make a straight face so I could obtain a usable image. The picture is not bad, but it is less effortless than I would have liked it to be. This is also the reason I painted her acid yellow. I chose a color that demonstrated the complete opposite of her facial expression, to show a contrast in emotion and to show irony. St. Clair confirms the theory we've all heard. This color yellow did in fact originate with the smiley face. I couldn't help but use Marissa for a second time with a different color due to the amazing turnout of her first image. As you can recall, I mentioned she was Kelly Green because of her calm and relaxed personality. This stands true. However, Marissa is also very self-assured and never misses a chance to show off her confident attitude and amazing looks. Because of this, I've chosen to paint her scarlet. While St. Clair associates this color with the scarlet woman, I see it more as a force to be reckoned with. The scarlet woman had a chance to repent, but instead branded herself and continued to carry on in her normal ways never giving in to what people wanted from her. This is another of my most successful photographs. Before I close, I hope that the relationship between these specific portraits and their colors is more evident. I took careful consideration when matching each one and really enjoy the way they turned out. Knowing that my four years here at Winthrop led me to this exhibition makes me even more proud of the work I produce. I invite all of you to find your own color and see how well you match with its history. Thank you very much for coming to my artist talk.